President Trump just issued a stunning statement about the Nunes memo Democrats are panicking. By all accounts, Republicans and Trump supporters possess the key to unlocking the door concealing the machinations of deep state that poses a direct threat to our republic. A four-page memo apparently regarding the criminal misuse of warrants obtained fraudulently from the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court FISC, rests in the hands of certain congressional committee members trying to gather enough votes to disclose the memo's contents to the public. The Independent Journal Review, IJR, quotes several congressmen who have studied the document as describing it as stunning, important, and revealing abuses worse than Watergate. The Washington Examiner quotes Representative Trey Gowdy, RSC, as commenting, I have concerns about the process, about representations that may be made in FISA court pleadings. I have concerns about the duty of government to provide complete, full, accurate information. FBI agents and prosecutors are not advocates at this stage. We are representatives to the courts. So there is an obligation to present accurate, full, complete information. And that's true in every criminal case or every counterintelligence case. They don't get the scrutiny that this one does. Parliamentary procedure dictates that a majority of the committee that produced the memo must vote in favor of releasing it, after which the president has up to five days to block its publication. According to statements from President Trump, it appears that he is all for the memo's release. CNN writes, President Donald Trump is inclined to allow the memo spearheaded by Representative Devin Nunes that alleges FBI abuses of surveillance laws to be released if the House Intelligence Committee approves it being declassified, a person familiar with the matter tells CNN. Once again, CNN rushed into the story by saying the President has already made his decision, but White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary Raj Shah showed that to be fake news saying that there will be a full interagency and national security review and the president will be advised before making a decision. Asked at a White House briefing what the Oval Office feels about the memo, spokesman Sarah Huckabee Sanders replied, We certainly support full transparency and we believe that is at the House Intel Committee to make that decision at this point. It sounds like there are some members in the House that have some real concerns with what is in that memo and feel very strongly that the American public should be privy to see it. The assertion by some propaganda outlets that the president must give yet or nay to the memo publication is also fake news, writes the Daily Caller. Deputy White House Press Secretary Hogan Gidley told the radio show audience on January 24 that, we don't have to approve it. The House Intelligence Committee have the right to declassify the document. What looks to be the inevitable release of the memo has Democrats sharding their pants. In panic mode, top libtards in Congress are resorting in knee-jerk fashion, to what they know best, lies. The Independent reports that Democrats, led by House Intelligence ranking retard Representative Adam Schiff head, DCA, are preparing their own FISA memo. That ought to make for hilarious comedic fiction in the vein of Douglas Adams, but with a more outrageously idiotic cast of libtard characters. Before the left pushes out a Russian dossier like counter memo to the real findings possessed by the Republicans, President Trump should use his power to disclose any intelligence he deems necessary for the good of the public and read the entire memo during the State of the Union address coming up. Let the cameras of Kspan record the looks on the faces of the treasonous left as the litany of their conspiracies are read before them and the American people. What a historic moment that would be. What do you think? Does the FISA memo deserve to be published?